Hi, I'm Brenda from the Avant Garden Shop and welcome to another episode of The Garden Gate. Today we are here at uh, Griffin's Greenhouses with Vicki. And Vicki, you're a member of Garden Root and each of our members uh, specialize in something. What would you say you specialize in here at Griffin's? Our specialty would be annuals, perennials, container gardens, and then of course this lovely garden this lovely that garden. we have it's here beautiful, for people beautiful. to come and visit and wander and yeah, enjoy. It's, it's really a nice spot to stay. <laughs> I want to stay here all day. <laughs> we put you to work. <laughs> oh, okay. But we're here today to talk a little bit about some of your containers mm -hmm. and some of the plants that you recommend for, say, hardy situations or heat like we uh, sometimes have in the summers. Yeah, not necessarily this year. It yeah. hasn't been that hot as of yet and not a very high UV, um, which other years can be very problematic for a lot of plants. So things like pansies and bacopa even really tend to peter off in the summertime. Right, yeah. And so often this time of year, you're replacing some plants. Yes, yes. Or at the beginning of the season, you choose some hardier plants. And some of those could include things like um, bougainvillea, tropical plants, some hibiscus, elephant ears, which are really hardy and have come from a, um, a really warm environment anyway. They're right. native of Florida and Mexico and places like that. And then there's things like um, some of the things like the uh, Nemesha, which is so, so tolerant and really good with lots of rain coming on it, right. So which we've had a lot of. So that's not going to, um, to harm the blooms of them. Petunias tend to do quite well in heat and geraniums. You can see geraniums behind me in the hanging, the hanging basket, basket there. Are beautiful. They do very nicely in a really hot situation. Um, even something fun like this guy here. This is a, um, a plant called Mizu. Oh, interesting. And it's, yeah, it's kind of of the succulent family, right. and it's kind of neat and funky, and it can handle it really, really hot. Oh, neat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe in our second segment, we'll talk a little bit more about the uh, succulent-type plants when we sure. come back in uh, about 20 minutes. Hope you join us then. Welcome back to the Garden Gate. We're here at Griffin's with Vicki, and we're going to talk a little bit more about succulent plants. This is a wonderful container, Vicki. Tell me a little bit more about it. Well, succulents are great because you can use them in the heat of the summer. They love, love, love as much heat as you can give them. Now, again, this year we haven't had as much, but um, it's still doing really, really well. Mm -hmm. Succulents come two different ways. There's perennial succulents and ones we call tropical succulents. And this is actually a combination of both. Um, so you see the ones that have the bluey tinge to them, a lot of the ones that are like echeverias and such. Um, and then even a few little cactus type little critters in this arrangement. And they're more tropical. They can't right. stay out all winter. They right. have to come in the house. And then we've tucked in some of the Angelonia sedums in here, which are really quite pretty. Um, even some that are in the garden, we've taken some of them that would be in containers and tucked them in little spots in the gardens as well. And those are perennial. Yeah, they're beautiful. And obviously you don't have to water them as much. So Not I'm so sure much. for people that go away a lot, it's maybe a nice uh, nice kind of plant to have it in the is. garden. Trick with it though, if you are underwatering, you will see a wrinkling in any of the um, sedum branches here. Um, or the succulent branches because they're pulling the water in right, yep. to try to um, save themselves. Right. So it looks like your bathtub fingers when right. you've been in too long. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So you know you're underwater. So again. you still have to water, but don't overwater. Yeah, yeah excellent. exactly. Well, thanks, Vicki. It's welcome. been wonderful to be here at Griffin's, and I hope that you'll drop by sometime and just enjoy the beautiful pond and maybe come and read a book if you like and see all the beautiful plants because it does still look wonderful here. Great. Thanks, Brenda. Thank you. We'll see you next time on the Garden Gate. The Garden Gate is brought to you by the Avant Garden Shop, your destination for gardening accessories and backyard birding supplies.